Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Bear Views. Back at you today with another one. And today I'm looking at one that I thought I'd already done a review of, but uh, upon further investigation, I actually have not posted a video review of this beer yet. This is Dos Equis Lager Especial. Dos Equis Lager Especial. Now, it says on the back of the label that Dos Equis was created in Mexico in 1897 by a German brewmaster who blended his brewing heritage with the spirit of Mexican traditions. Um, original called Siglo XX to celebrate the arrival of the 20th century. It later became known as simply Dos Equis. And it says some more on the back of the label, but that's really the important part. Uh, one interesting thing, it does say that it was created in 1897. I believe that that was actually the Dos Equis Ambar that was created in 1897. The Dos Equis Lager Especial was not actually introduced until 1983. It is 4.2% alcohol by volume, 131 calories per 12 ounce serving. It is 22 IBUs, or no, I'm sorry, it is 10 IBUs. The Dos Equis Ambar is 22 IBUs, so 10 IBUs, so very malt-forward beer you can expect with this one. Um, and it also says, let's see, 11 carbs and 1 gram of protein, so it'll make you nice and strong. Um, so anyway, a very popular Mexican lager. Uh, you can get it on draft or in the bottle or can at just about any Mexican restaurant of your choosing. Same with the Modelo and, of course, Corona is everywhere. So let's give it a pour. I've had this beer many times over the years. I just haven't reviewed it yet on my channel, surprisingly. So there is the pour. A nice golden color with some streaming bubbles going up the glass about a two finger head uh, about a one and a half finger head now looks like a standard lager in the glass uh, this would go well with a lime just like any other Mexican beer or American adjunct lager really so definitely malt forward on the aroma getting some nice barley malt a breadiness maybe a touch of hops on the aroma but really not that much maybe like a, a European or a German beer like the grassy hops that's what I'm getting with this one so anyway it smells like a good beer um, let's go ahead and get into it cheers guys yeah if you're getting that euro lager thing a uh, nice grassy herbal note uh, in the middle of the sip but it definitely starts out malt forward you're getting that nice barley malt which leads to a nice uh, white bread, white bread crust breadiness in the middle of the sip. Then that uh, herbal note kind of comes into play on the finish. Uh, the body is light. The carbonation is medium to almost high with this one. Uh, it's super refreshing and crisp with the carbonation. The finish is dry as well. The sessionability is through the roof at 4.2% alcohol. Um, just a great beer. It's a Heineken um, brand. Heineken International or Heineken Mexico. Actually, Heineken International brand. Um, it's, a very, it's a very enjoyable beer. I really have been impressed with it over the years. I order it often when I you know, go out to Mexican restaurants. The Dos Equis and the Modelo Especial are both very good. I think I prefer the Modelo Especial to this slightly. However, they're both excellent. Um, they're, they're both excellent Mexican lagers for sure. Some people worry about the green bottles and think that they might be getting a skunked beer, but I have never had a problem with the Dos Equis as far as you know getting a skunky product. That's never been an issue for me uh, with this particular brand. It's a great brew. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's in the A range for a Mexican-style lager. Uh, it's not quite as good as Modelo or Corona Extra or Corona Familiar, in my personal opinion, but it's still excellent nonetheless, and I'm just being nitpicky at this point because they're all excellent beers. Um, this one is, for me, I'm going to go with a 93 out of 100. It's definitely um, getting up there towards a solid A. I would highly recommend it. Uh, and on draft, it's probably a 95 or 96 out of 100. 
Uh, it's really good on draft, and it goes well with a lime. I, I will drink it with a lime uh, when I go out and get it on draft. But for home consumption, I never put a lime in my beers, typically. Uh, unless it's a special occasion and somebody provides a lime, I just typically drink them straight up like this. Um, anyway, a great beer, 93 out of 100. An excellent beer, actually. 93 out of 100 is an A. Uh, so that will do it for this beer review, guys. Go out and try the Dos Equis. Lager Special, if you haven't already, let me know what you guys think. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and until next time, everybody, cheers.